pour it all over the motor. Just so we have the rust oleum. So we have the rust oleum sun. Blah, 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 blah. What, not what color is this bitch again? Oh yeah. So we got the rust oleum gloss sunrise red. That's what we're going to be using. And as you can see, this is a very bright bright red it's got a lot of life got a lot of, a lot of color to it it's going to stand out pretty well Our fam so we have all the primer done she's pretty much dry we let it sit overnight and now we're gonna lay the color down on the engine block today pour it all over the motor Just so we have the rust oleum So we have the Rust Oleum Sun. Blah, 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 blah. What, not what color is this bitch again? Oh, yeah. So we got the Rust Oleum Gloss Sunrise Red. That's what we're going to be using. And as you can see, this is a very bright, bright red. It's got a lot of life, got a lot of, a lot of color to it. It's going to stand out pretty well. All right, so we're going to get our paintbrush. We're going to start laying the paint down, so stay tight. We about to turn it on. All right, guys, here we go. So we got the first coat of the red down on the whole entire block. And I think we're gonna do one more coat when this dries, but it's laying down pretty good. Um, it's still really, really, still, bleh, it's still really wet. So we'll come back here later and I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely cured. But we're gonna see what it looks like when it completely dries, because we got, and you can see like we got a little we got some spots that may need a second coat to uh, completely cover it but she's laying down per good it's a really really bright red looks real nice like it like it what you what you guys think put a comment down there below really really nice red like i said this this red has a lot of life a lot of color to it a lot of pop stands out really good super bright oh yeah oh yeah So there you go guys, super easy, do it yourself in your own garage with simple materials you can find at the Home Depot or our hardware store. For the amount of material that we use, we probably use $5 worth of material. 
we have tons of product left that we could probably paint 50 more engines with if we wanted to or other projects down the road so you can't beat it it's really good stuff and it works well so stay tuned for the rest of the updates and installs that we're going to be putting in this engine block don't forget give the video a thumbs up comment down below what you think and we'll see you guys on the next one